If the New York Jets had decided to clean house following the 2018 season, firing general manager Mike McIngon along with coach Todd Bowles, it would not have registered a high number on the shock meter. After all, it was the Jets' third straight losing season. But no, they opted to keep McIngon. They let him play a significant role in the hiring of coach Adam Gasset. They let him spend more than $125 million in guarantees on free agents. They let him run the 2019 NFL draft, which included selecting a prospect with a number three overall pick. They let him be the football boss. I think he's terrific at his job, Jets CEO Christopher Johnson said in late March at the annual NFL owners meetings. He has a plan that I believe in. It's really key that he's working well with Adam. Jets past four seasons Mike McIngon was the Jets general manager since 2015. Here are the results. Season record playoffs, 20,184 minus 12 number 20,175 minus 11 number 20,165 minus 11 number 201,510 minus 6 no source ESPN stats. It's amateur hour in Florham Park, New Jersey, folks. Conjuring up memories of their many infamous moments from a star-crossed past, remember Bill Belichick resigning as HC of the NYJ, the Jets dusted off their old dunce cap and shocked the NFL with a move that raises serious questions about the leadership of the franchise. Johnson, who has been in charge for only two years, just dumped a guy, McIngon, whom he empowered to make franchise-altering decisions. We're talking about the signings of Livon Bell and C.J. Mosley and the drafting of Quinnen Williams. It reeks of inexperience on the part of Johnson, the affable younger brother of owner Woody Johnson who appears to have been swallowed up by the responsibility of the job. The Jets turned their organization into a Game of Thrones episode, a classic power struggle in which Gasset prevailed over McIngon. Gasset, a losing coach with the Miami Dolphins, has ascended to the Iron Throne. Imagine that. No one other than the Jets wanted to hire him off the scrap heap, and now he's the king at one Jets drive. Bend the knee for Adam Gasset, king of the North Jersey, whisperer to quarterbacks, loser of many games, friend of Peyton Manning. Oh, the Jets will hire a new general manager, Philadelphia Eagles executive Joe Douglas, who has a good relationship with Gasset from the time together in Chicago in 2016, is the favorite, but is there any doubt who is running the show? Only, the Jets could turn a 23-25 coach into a leader of an organization. This emperor has no playoff victories. Reports of friction between Gasset and McIngon emerged during the draft. There were rumors of McCannion's looming demise, which the Jets privately refuted. In fact, the discord between Gasset and McIngon was real, as ESPN reported at the time. Johnson was so concerned that he started spending more time at the facility to monitor their working relationship, sources said. People in the organization felt Gasset and McIngon would work through it, and they would get a one-year honeymoon before ownership re-evaluated after the season. For the record, the gasset mcignon marriage lasted only four months. Very Kardashian. It doesn't matter who is in charge, the Jets stink at matchmaking. The Rex Ryan John Idzik pairing blew up in spectacular fashion, but at least that lasted two years. Mac and Yon and Bowles, too, had their issues, but they managed to survive four years. Now at this, if the Johnson brothers owned eHarmony, it would go out of business in no time. Best of NFL Nation At one point, before the draft, he considered a change, sources said. He decided to ride it out and, after taking some time after the draft to reassess the situation, he opted to make the change for the best long-term interests of the organization, he said in Wednesday's statement. Ultimately, this could turn out to be a wise move because Gasset will have a comp level with his new partner. Clearly, he didn't have that with Mac and Yon. As much as the two men denied it, they clashed over personnel decisions in free agency. The problem is, why did it have to get to this point? 
Why did Johnson believe they could coexist? Did he know Gasset was power-hungry when he hired him? Do you really trust Johnson to get it right? The Jets are a mess, a bumbling organization that makes the New York Knicks look like the pillars of stability. It's no wonder they haven't reached a Super Bowl in 50 years.